Okay, now you see this is a, a little bit more complex example. Uh, state machines look different, but the logic is just the same. You've got states and you've got transitions between states and all the transitions, they can have preconditions and post conditions. I just want to show you another thing. You see that there's different colors and different box types. Those gray boxes are the regular boxes. Those light green boxes are start states. And um, those blue boxes, uh, they, are, they contain another state machine. So if you look at evaluate enemy post, it looks like it's just one box. If I double click it, you see that it's a more complex state machine. All this, all what you see here, all these complex things here are that one box which I've shown you before. So this evaluate enemy position is a complex state machine again. So what you can do is you can have state machines where the states are complex state machines again. This is done to, to reuse certain behaviors and to, to make the look of a state machine easier. So if you have a very complex behavior like fighting, you just would like to have a box setting fighting and then within that box you can define what fighting really looks like. So if you have a soldier and you define his course overall behavior, he would go like walking, fighting, patrolling. And you can decide when he walks, when he patrols, when he fights. But then, if he fights, you need to define what he does when fighting. And this might be more complex. So you can have another state machine describing what fighting means. And what you then would have is something like this. You would have fighting here. And if you click on fighting, you get a complete set of actions describing how to fight. So that's the idea behind these hierarchical state machines. And if you look over here on the left-hand side, you see all the state machines that are there. There you see that there's a state machine. Blockade, bot cover, change gun position. And when there's another state machine underneath, like here in bot cover, you see that there's underneath a move to save post state machine. This means that, that there's some hierarchy, that the bot cover state machines uses the move to save position state machine. And if you look at the move to save position state machine, it uses the evaluate in enemy position state machine. You have states and transition between states, and every state can potentially be a state machine again.